Hi guys, my name is Anu Jindal. Welcome to my channel. If you're coming here for the first time, I'm a mentor for RBI, SEBI, NABARD and UGC NET examinations. Today, we will talk about a news that is spreading like wildfire on both social media as well as on various news channels. The news is about bank privatization. The major impact of bank privatization is going to be on three stakeholders. Bank Bharat, which is the largest bank in the world. The major impact of bank privatization is going to be on three stakeholders. Number one, economy. Number two, bank aspirants. And number three, the bank employees. तो बैंक प्राइवेटाइजेशन अगर होता है इफ इट हैपन्स देन व्हाट आर द एक्सपेक्टेड इम्पैक्ट्स बोथ पॉजिटिव एज वेल एज नेगेटिव ऑन ऑल दीज थ्री स्टेक होल्डर्स लेट्स डिस्कस दैट सो फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट इज बैंक एस्पिरेंस अ लॉट ऑफ बैंक एस्पिरेंस आर वेरी एंशियस अबाउट दिस मूव और अबाउट दिस अनाउंसमेंट कि हो सकता है बैंक प्राइवेटाइजेशन पहले से जल्दी हो जाए But even if it starts now, it's going to take at least eight to ten years for all the major banks to get privatized, and therefore, all these bank aspirants don't have to worry about anything because their prospective employment in banks is not going to be affected by this move or this announcement of privatization. किसी भी बैंक को प्राइवेटाइज करने में दो से तीन साल इजीली लगते हैं. And therefore, even if the privatization is accelerated, it will take at least eight to ten years for all the public sector banks to get privatized. So please don't worry and focus on your preparation. The second major stakeholder which is going to be affected by bank privatization is the economy. There are going to be both positive as well as negative impacts on the economy of this prospective or thought out privatization. Let's first of all discuss the positive aspects or positive expected impacts of privatization on the economy. The first and foremost is ability of banks to raise more capital. through privatization from the market the banks have already declared that they might be affected more severely than expected because of corona virus agar iska impact nps par bahut heavily aata hai then banks will have to raise capital from the market after a certain point that is possible only if the public sector which means in this case the government is ready to privatize its share holding it's ready to dilute its share holding because otherwise the government will also have to infuse money a lot of money in the public sector banks which is not possible at this stage the second major positive impact of privatization of public sector banks is going to be npa management everybody knows that private banks are better at npa management than public sector banks i'm not talking about all the private sector banks but yes on a proportionate level if you compare public sector banks with private sector banks private sector banks stand at a better level when it comes to npa management and therefore if these public sector banks are privatized then we might be able to control the npa problem to a certain extent now let's come to the negative aspects of privatization on the economy the first one is that it's not a good news for the msme sector as well as for the agriculture sector the sectors which are small in stature for example individuals agriculture msme and similar sectors might be severely affected because of privatization in the short run because it is well known that private sector banks are not very well concerned or not very enthusiastic about giving out loans to the msme sector or to the agriculture sector why because the risk of default is considered to be higher in these sectors the second negative impact expected impact of privatization of public sector banks is the accessibility of the financial system to the masses It is well known again that private sector banks are limited to the urban areas. They don't want to delve into the rural areas because rural areas may costing zada hai and at the same time the amount of visits that they can generate is limited. And therefore accessibility of the financial system to the entire nation might be affected. The third major expected impact of privatization on the economy is that it is expensive to keep bank accounts in private sector banks even today. If you go to a public sector banks you don't have to pay anything you don't have to keep any funds in order to open your account but the same does not apply to private sector banks and if it continues it might be harmful for people of middle class like you and me who want to open a bank account who want to access the financial system living in urban areas but at the same time cannot afford keeping 50000 10000 20000 amounts like these in the banks without getting any returns on these Now let us come to the third stakeholder which is going to be affected by bank privatization bank employees public sector banks ke jo bhi employees hain they are 
very anxious about this move because they feel that their job might not be secure anymore if the bank is privatized number one and secondly they might be laid off because private sector banks are known to cut off on their human resource environment and to adopt technology faster but you can actually beat the herd by following these three majors number one keep upskilling yourself by doing various additional courses on banking it's very important that you regularly upskill yourself because otherwise even if you stay in the public sector banks your survival as a good employee is severely affected number two know your job very well because if tomorrow the bank is privatized it's very important that you're considered a good employee and you have good command over what you do otherwise the bank might chuck you out number three and very important is don't be a master of one and jack of no trade be a master of one but at the same time jack of all trades as well instead of just limiting your knowledge to the banking system it's very important that you also have a very good idea about the overall financial system and the reason is that banking system now is again getting integrated into the overall financial system very fast the indian banking system is expected to integrate itself with the financial system whether it is the bond market or the capital market very fast in the next few years and therefore it's going to be very useful if you have a very good understanding of both the bond markets as well as the equity market because that will enhance your chances of being considered as an asset by the banking system i hope all these arguments will help you understand and remove the anxiety that you have about the ongoing talks about privatization and its impact on you if you like this video do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get regular updates about such amazing videos in the future as well all the very best take care